everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation. In today's video, we're gonna talk about that one thing that's going to absolutely make a huge difference on your throwing. It's what everybody needs, no matter who you are, what you're doing. And in this video from a recent webinar, we are going to explain what that is. So check it out. Right, this is where the left arm has to move. You don't see my shoulders turning. This is what most athletes do. What most athletes do is Okay, so the second thing is balance. In order to, a lot of your drills, you really wanna focus on being balanced. So you have to have, understand counterbalance. You have to understand the path of the entry arm. Here's your concept again. So when we look at balance, we're looking at the counterbalance, the entry arm, you have the sweep leg. You have to understand body angles at this point. Where does the upper body angle? Does it angle forward? Does it sit back? You have to understand the sequence to make sure you're on balance. If you start moving the chest this way with the arm, you'll fall off balance. That's gonna affect your high point of, of the discus. You don't wanna try to shoot for a high point in the shot put like you do with the discus and in the glide, you have a completely different angle. Uh, and balance is a little easier in the glide because it's real linear, but a lot of athletes are off balance because they're hitting some pillar positions incorrectly. So now they're falling. That's what gives people the hop kind of look across the glide versus an actual glide. So you want to understand the positions that are going to create balance, right? Again, when we focus on that, so we've, we're already incorporating tension. And so I'll, I'll demo shot. So you're gonna notice when I'm here and I have the band here. And so when I focus on balance, I'm and we do something what we call a 90 degree walk around, you're gonna notice that I'm gonna basically have to take my left foot. And so if my feet are sitting in this position, the left foot has to turn here and that's what's gonna create tension on the band. But when you see this, you see the band and I'm gonna do turn my foot to 90 and you're gonna notice that there's tension again. So now when you're teaching an athlete how to move this around, because what you see is athletes doing this. And so when they use the band, instead of just doing a standard drill, which we did for a long time, we started figuring out how are we gonna get our athletes to feel things better? We're gonna have them feel the right things quickly. And so when you see this, now they know how to keep tension. Now they understand there's more of a natural action that you wanna do. So now when you look at how the upper body works when you're trying to create balance, right? This is where the left arm has to move. Now you're going to notice when I show you guys that you don't see my shoulders turning. This is what most athletes do. What most athletes do is this. And now they're going to be off balance when they go into the ring. So you want to understand if we were teaching the discus, we would be boom. And we would feel again, how we feel this counterbalance, the long arms, the stretch on the lower body, that's what keeps everything on balance. So when we create speed, which is a balance drill, which is really difficult. And then we have what we call as the 90 degree walk around, which is where you can't see my foot, but I would turn my foot here. So this foot's aimed this way. And now I kind of move the sweep leg out. So you'll, so you'll see me kind of pushing the sweep leg knee out and that again with a, the long left arm. So if I'm shot, you're going to see me hold here. You're going to see it open more. And if I'm in the discus, you see it open longer this way and come this way. So you see that left arm sweep leg counterbalance, and that's a real big thing. And you understand that counterbalance system, it makes a huge difference. So when you do the next drill, we call it a sprint counter. So we're teaching kids how to enter into the throw. And surprisingly, this is something that's really simple. But what you would see is just the ability to hold this position and be on balance or be on balance. Now you're gonna notice that too. When I'm showing you the discus, discus is out, sweep leg is gonna be wider, left arm is gonna be longer. When you're in the shot put, and I'm gonna go from here, and I go this way, you're gonna notice how the sweep leg's gonna come up because it's a more rotational throw. The thing that you wanna focus on is feeling that alignment of the hip. So with the glide, everything's super linear. What we do is we create a connection and we put it up over the shoulder. Now we do do this with the rotational throws as well. And so what we're gonna do is alignment is the big key in the glide. So when we're setting up and we're setting up tension and we're gonna separate. So one of the things that we can do is we can pull the bands and we can go double bands. So when you're here, you can kind of get the glide here and you'll feel how you're creating tension this way, separation, and you're gonna notice this. So what we'll do is now, if you notice the bands, one of the key things we teach, again, with teaching a chain reaction, we have to be balanced. So where are throwers off balance in the glide? Usually when they get on one leg, 
So you're gonna notice when I do this and I hinge, you're gonna notice the, where the band path is right here. And this is the mistake. When we talk about people bending at the waist, this is what it looks like when you bend at the waist, see the band and see where my hip is in relation to the band. And what we wanna do is bend here. So see where my hip is much closer. So when I put it down and I pull up, I'm more in alignment again. We're creating tension when we create balance, but you'll see how we're gonna create tension on the kick leg. So you're gonna see how the band's over here. And so you're gonna see the band straight there. If I'm too far back, I'll show you this direction. So if I'm here and I do this, right, you'll see where the band is. If I'm loading correctly and I pull up, see how the bands are, see how they're gonna to move together. You're gonna to see how we're gonna move the bands like this. This is gonna be one of the key things, but going back to the concept of balance, this is where you see, you can see the bands, how I'm counterbalanced. And you can see that if I do this, you see how the bands are here. So everything's behind the bands. That's what you see why your gliders have such a hard time. And so when they put this on and they have to, this is gonna teach them that kick leg to create the right hinge, now I'm on balance. And you see so many throwers, they just don't understand how to set that hinge. That's one of the things that we talk about in the throwing chain reaction.